hit uh, not to be nervous about anything, anything of the kind. A character leading the way, I said. To be repetitive and still be me, I'm the poet, the writer, the playwright, and I've said that before. But then you need to say it again, stream of consciousness, to know you, 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 you are you, of your own kind, the sonnets. If you're bored, well, it's still mine, still mine, literature-wise, still mine and still always mine. Seeing it ahead of time, ahead of time and ahead of time. I intend to live very long, extremely long, all the time. The poet, the poet, the poet, there's always something. But then look back, look back at what I've already recorded. Already recorded. And it's all outstanding, it's all me. It's all me. Every single thing of where I do or what I sing or what I say or whether I'm walking or talking or saying something that's high or low, melodious like. Similar to a simile, metaphorically speaking. I was trying to compare this to that and this, and then you find yourself along the flat of Amsterdam. What a place, what a city, what a contradictory. Nature and I saw her, the siren. I called her the siren. She was someone, someone who speaks to me, I find, her voice ethereal. She is the one, always was the one. Ah, yes. You could say she was an escort sex worker. Salubrious, health-giving. She is the one, always was. What a woman. Still alive, I hear. And that's good. I intend to stay single and go to prostitutes the rest of my life. The poetry within. I will never give in. I am without sin. I am Edward A.G. Wallace, not of this place. Not of this place, literally. Don't read into it too much. I'm just a playwright, poet, actor, artist. Has nothing, no, has nothing to do with painting. You can say anything in a glance, in a move, in a groove, in a dance. But don't bring that person in, don't bring this person in. It worsens my speech, my wavelength, as I teach something, as I sit, as I stand, as I sit down again. But don't torture me like that, that's medieval, that's biblical. But I don't read the Bible, I wasn't baptized. You never realized who I was and why I was. I was always the same. Finally, my brain releases as my hair grows with curls and it twirls within some wavelength, subconsciously speaking, in the subtropical climate. And here I am, nearly transcending. You can see it. You can see it. Multidimensional, multifarious me. It's all there. It's all the writing. Don't you dare claim to be my poetry. It's outstanding. I'm gorgeous. I'm wonderful. Look at my neck. Look at my full lips. Look at my kind, sincere eyes. Tranquil blue. Soft. Greco-Roman nearly, but not quite. A little bit Negroid. No, I'm not an android. No, I'm not an android. Ah, so many ways. <laughs> Almost Asian at times, when I squint, and then I open, and then it can become Northern and Southern European. So many faces, all at the same time. A woman mistook me for Ethiopian. She said I looked like her nephew. Maybe she's a little bit hazy. Maybe she's not. Maybe she sees more. Maybe she's telepathically telling me. Just fast and you'll see the truth. The light and the way. The divinity from within. Like a Hindu. Ah, yes. Singularity. A is A. The truth. Ooh, eternal youth. Eternal flower. The power within my own. Within my own, my own, I speak for myself, 
not weak, spineless, evil. I am who I am. And who are you? Because I'm not a caterpillar, no, I'm not that. I don't derive from this, I don't derive from that. But he was a good stream of consciousness writer. Ah, yes, good old Lewis, he knew how to write. So did, so did, so did all those other ones. But I won't derive too much, too much tonight. No, it's tonight, really. It's the daytime, but it's blue sky and the light's right there. And you go quick and then you go and you go and you find yourself within... No, don't be the hare, don't be the tortoise, don't be the, even the turtle. Be an animal, be a human being. <laughs> there you go, let's... Age of literalism. Literalism. Ah, the age of literalism. But let's be literature. Let's be cinematic literature. Let's be human art. Walking, talking, speaking. Human condition. The human condition. Speaking for itself. Not for some other general people that you know nothing of. Speak for yourself. Love thyself. Love yourself before you love another. That is genuine compassion. The virtue of selfishness. What character is this? It's a play within a play. It's a novel. It's a stream of consciousness novel. It's a genre unto itself. Be original. Like me. What a voice. What voice is it? Combination of so many. What a voice I have. It's so various, so versatile. You should hear me sing when I walk through the aisle of the cathedrals, the shopping centers, where all the marketplaces have the melting pot. Stir away. No crucibles, no. I love witches and warlocks. It unlocks every single spirit alchemy. Do you believe in such things? Maybe, somehow, if it's non-violent, if it's non-violent, why not? Untie the knot, I choose thee. She knows. Yes, and it's not a white Australian woman or an Irish woman or anything of the kind like that. It's someone much more, someone much more... Maybe it's just me. I'll stick with me for an eye. Ah, there you go. The blue sky, the evening tide. And like him, sometimes I know. Yes, I know. And I look quite young. And I'm not a fraud. I'm a Wallace. Yes, Edward A. G. Wallace. 11th of June, 2024. Control my evoke. Oh. Control my. Uh, oh. Control the emotions and all the feelings and all of the ceilings that I thought were never there. Simulations, stimulations. Let's not be morbid. Let's be salubrious, health giving. Let's be the living. Let's be the light, the sight, the night. Let's be everything subconsciously seeking, seeking above every single lower, lower kind. Let's be kind. Have genuine fun and just be laid back. Traditional, 
sensual in the sun. Eternal one, the eternal one, the infinite, I, me, see, me.